it is freezer unit, it's not um, cooling. Uh, so it's four, 4.4 four degrees. Um, just got the cover off it. The bird's nest up here. On this bit of foam that's, that's dropped down. So I've got a couple of screws in it just to hold that in place while I took the cover off. Condenser fans running. Condenser evaporator is through the wall. It's a through the wall sort of package unit. Um, that's the compressor there, which is hot. Um, and I think I've been hearing it click on and off on the, on the thermal overload. Yep, there we go. So, uh, let's see if we can turn this off here. Go and pull the plug on it, I think. So I'll have a socket somewhere. Get the cover off there. Got the electrical box um, apart. That capacitor's warm. It's quite hot actually, it's quite soft. I think it's far off of bursting. We'll uh, test it anyway. It's been cycling on and off on the thermal overload probably for a day I expect, I think it's gone long yesterday One thirty-three. that's uh, 88 plus 20% 120 Right, the electric's checked out um, the winding tome out okay, so it sounds like this is a mechanical problem. Uh, there's a lot of oil here and underneath that box, so we put the gauges on there and we've got nothing. So I'm going to put a bit of nitrogen in, see what happens. Hear that coming out of somewhere. I think that might be in the um, condensate tank. There's a tank here where the water drains from the freezer when it defrosts. And there's a hot gas loop in there. Might work, it's probably rubbed through. So chances are things full of water. I think we might end up scrapping this.